Obama reassures Gulf allies on Iran. U.S. President Barack Obama has pledged to stand by his Gulf allies with military force if necessary, amid heightened tensions with Iran. He reassured Arab leaders, after a two-day summit, that the U.S. was committed to protecting them in the time of extraordinary changes. Speaking at Camp David near Washington, Mr. Obama said a nuclear deal with Iran was not a threat to Gulf nations. A joint statement pledged new cooperation in many areas. These included counterterrorism, maritime security, cyber security and ballistic missile defense. The Six Nation Gulf Cooperation Council GCC is made up of Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and UK. I was very explicit that the United States will stand by our GCC partners against external attack, Mr. Obama pledged at the end of the talks. The president said he hoped that working together would help achieve the kind of peace and good neighborliness with Iran that the nation's present sought. President Obama didn't give the Arabs the formal defense treaties some of them wanted. But he went as far as he felt he could to reassure them that the U.S. had their back, including a pledge of deeper military cooperation to counter what he called Iran's destabilizing activities. Significantly for Mr. Obama, the Gulf nations said the nuclear deal with Iran would be in their security interests if it was comprehensive and verifiable. Such public support might make it a bit easier for the president to sell an Iranian agreement to a skeptical Congress. So everyone got something of what they needed out of the summit, but fundamental differences remain over how they view Iran, and those will continue to play out. The joint statement said that in the face of any aggression, the U.S. would stand with the Arab nations to determine urgently what action may be appropriate, using the means at our collective disposal including the potential use of military force, for the defense of our GCC partners. Gulf nations have grown distrustful of the White House since Mr. Obama's initially sympathetic response to the Arab uprisings, and are frustrated with his reluctance to get more involved in the Syria conflict, says the BBC's Barbara Pledge Usher. They are deeply wary about any nuclear detente with Iran amidst an increasingly sectarian contest for regional dominance between Sunni Arabs and Shia Tehran. Our correspondent says. They fear the lifting of sanctions would empower Iran to increase its support for armed Shia groups in Syria.